hello everyone welcome back to my new lecture of control engineering as we have discussed so far about the root locus uh, roots edge criteria in order to determine the stability of a system right so today we will discuss about the board plot for the frequency response systems we have discussed so far the feedback systems open loop control system uh, closed loop control system so today we will discuss about the stability of a frequency response control systems okay so for that uh, in order to check the stability of a system uh, with the help of a board plot okay it was suggested by the scientist name namely called hw board okay so he gave this concept to determine the stability of a system frequency response system where we can get the var a variety of uh, frequencies on the logarithmic sheet uh, later on i will uh, introduce you the logarithmic sheet also which is called the semi log sheet uh, which we use in the problematic part of this board plot okay so first point is uh, that we have to determine some characteristics or constants or you can say that parameters of uh, this particular board plot so they are the gain margin phase margin that will decide the uh, stability of a system over there okay so for as of now uh, i will give you the definition about the body plot what is this board plot it is nothing but uh, the variation of magnitude magnitude and phase angle on the logarithmic sheet so first of all let me introduce with the log logarithmic sheet so this is your uh, semi log sheet so in which you will uh, draw the variations of magnitude versus frequency okay first of all let me show you what will be the variations okay this is your uh, log omega means frequency with respect to magnitude okay magnitude and phase angle it is denoted by phi with respect to log of omega so uh, what is the benefit of uh, drawing this board plot you see here the x axis is same log of omega log of omega but base 10 is here okay it is important so log 10 omega log 10 omega it is base is same so you can draw magnitude and phase angle on a sing, uh, single semi log sheet okay so this is your semi log sheet it consists of decades this distance is called as the decade okay this distance so it is uh, it always starts from uh, zero right sorry this is from this side so it always starts from 0 0.1 not 0 okay and this is your 10 days power 0 10 days power 1 and 10 raised power 2 10 raised power 3 like that it will go on up to 10 raised power 4 10 raised power 5 okay so you have to draw the magnitude and uh, phase angle on the this particular graph sheet that is semi log sheet okay later on we will do the problem so that you will understand uh, clearly over there so the basic definition of board plot is to draw the relationship between magnitude and phase angle with respect to the log of omega okay so i have uh, what we call as clearly written here that is magnitude plot and later on i will introduce the phase uh, phase plot okay so this is called the decade which i showed you on the board plot over there this is your log scale log 10 of omega log 10 of omega okay versus magnitude and this uh, phase angle okay so first of all whenever the problem is given you have to focus on the standard form we have discussed this before also in the root locus itself so this is g of s and h of s we are replacing s by j omega okay it is actually g of s but we are replacing it by j omega and j omega so it is equal to k times s raised power n 1 plus t1 s into 1 plus 2 zeta omega n s plus s square by omega square n this is the terms in the numerator are called the zeros and terms in the denominator are called poles so this is s raised power m 1 plus t a s 1 plus 2 zeta omega n s plus s square by omega square and this is the standard form which you should uh, remember over here so that you can uh, prop you can solve the problems properly over here so this is called the uh, a zero at origin this is called a sim simple zero complex zero already discussed in the root locus also i will just provide the link in the description box so you that you can avail that video also on root locus where i have clearly discussed these terms over there numerator uh, terms are called the zeros and denominator terms are called the poles so this is your uh, zero at origin this is simple zero and this is uh, what we call complex zero this is pole at origin simple pole and complex pole okay so now i will take separate terms from above equation this term i will uh, take the separate terms in order to get the magnitude you you, you should remember i have to get uh, magnitude and angles so that i can plot it on the board plot over there okay first of all i will take the, this k term so consider k you have to take magnitude so g of s h of s instead of s you have to take j omega 
and instead of s g omega okay g of s h of s is equal to k magnitude of k so uh, you should remember also we are discussing about the uh, the s plane as in the rot locus we are taking s plane means where there are imaginary part and real parts okay so in this k term there is no imaginary part so i can just add k plus zero times imaginary part just because we are discussing about the complex planes okay so k plus zero j is imaginary part so uh, in order to get the magnitude there is a formula that under under root of uh, real part square real part square plus imaginary part square okay so what is the real part square in this particular uh, form over here that is k okay i can write the k square plus imaginary uh, part uh, square uh, we have I have to take so imaginary part is 0 over here with j so 0 square I have to take under root of this k square plus 0 square you will get under root of k square square and root will get cancelled you will get k so your magnitude for this k term is k okay but in linear scale it is I have to take logarithmic scale just because we are using the uh, semi log sheets okay so in order to uh, convert it into the linear scale you have to remember this g of j omega h of j omega means g of s h of s is equal to 20 times log 10 k uh, decibels is the unit for this logarithmic uh, scale over here so you have to convert this k into logarithmic uh, just because you have to remember 20 log 10 you have to put on the coefficient side of this k that will become your logarithmic scale okay it is nothing but it is a straight line when you just vary the k values uh, you will get one two three four or like that you will get but in order to get frequencies so here is no omega present here okay so only k is here so uh, whatever you change the frequency you change one two ten uh, hundred thousand so it will not affect so it will become your straight line on the board plot later on you will understood it uh, understand it with uh, clearly over there okay this is your straight line with 20 log of k okay so this is your 20 log k next part now angle i have to plot okay so in order to understood pl uh, angle plot so angle of g of s h of s that is g of j omega h of j omega is equal to angle of k so k is the term but there is no imaginary term so i just add 0 j which will become tan inverse of imaginary part upon real part so what is uh, the imaginary part here that is 0 tan inverse of 0 upon real part is k so 0 upon k is 0 so tan inverse of 0 is 0 degree okay so angle plot you are getting 0 and magnitude plot you are getting 20 log of k that is 20 log k here with the straight line so you have to remember in uh, problems you will understood why, why i am taking this 20 log k in the graph i will clearly show you over there okay so first of all you have to take some definition part over here as it is the introductory lecture so second one is one pole at origin means this one one upon this s raised power n this is pole at origin one divided by s raised power m is your pole at origin so in order to understood the magnitude of this so g of s h of s is one by s is equal to uh, you have to replace this s with j omega so g of j omega h of j omega is equal to one upon here no real term is here so i will just add zero plus j omega already imaginary part is here now in order to get the magnitude one upon under root of real square plus imaginary square real is zero zero square plus imaginary part is omega square you will get one upon omega over here that is the magnitude of a pole at origin okay so it is linear scale in order to get uh, it in the uh, logarithmic scale uh, in log 10 scale g of j omega h of j omega will be your 20 log of 10 this is the formula and whatever you are getting here you have to take 1 by omega here okay so this is your magnitude for this so you change the value for omega if you take one value you will get 2 20 log of 10 1 1 by 1 is 1 so log of 1 is always 0 so 20 log uh, 0 is 0 magnitude you will get 0 if you vary 10 okay so you will get 20 log of 10 over here so log of 10 is nothing but 1 over here okay log 10 is equal to 1 so 20 into 1 is uh, my, uh, 20 okay so but you will get minus 20 just because uh, 1 by omega is here if i take it in the kelsey part i can show you how you are getting it as negative value so 20 log of log to the base 10 of 1 by omega 1 by sorry this is delete or divided by 
1 upon omega omega you are taking 10 value so just take 10 you will get minus 20 value like that you will proceed it 100 minus 40 thousand minus 60 why i am varying it as 10 100 and thousand just because i am using semi log sheet semi log sheet you will get 10 raised power 0 10 raised power 1 10 raised power 2 10 raised power 3 like that just that is why i have varied it in the that particular format that is 1 10 100 and this now angle plot for this particular uh, pole at origin so angle of g of s h of s is equal to 1 upon angle of s over here you have to replace this s with the j omega so 1 upon angle of j omega so 1 upon this is tan inverse of uh, real uh, sorry imaginary part upon real part imaginary part is omega real part is not present so you take just 0 tan inverse of 0 so tan inverse of omega by 0 is uh, tan inverse of infinity which is nothing but 1 upon 90 degree tan inverse of uh, infinity is always equal to 90 degree it will become your when you just uh, reciprocal it it will get uh, you will get 90 degree for this particular one pole at origin okay so next part if i just uh, check here the difference between this magnitude so you are getting minus 20 minus 40 minus 60 so in general you will take straight it will be your straight line with slope minus 20 decibels per decade i have to take it in the decades okay so as i earlier mentioned in the graph sheet also you have to take decades whenever you see the line is here this part is called the decade okay so this part is your decade decade that means 10 10 difference so you are getting here straight line with slope uh, minus 20 decibels per decade so these terms you should remember uh, it will definitely help you in the board plot problems okay so next is uh, two zeros at origin you have to take separate terms i can show you the ho whole proofs for these all zeros and poles at origin but in order to uh, understand the problems in order to solve the problems you should uh, remember one table here this is blo uh, board plot summary chart for numericals if you remember this chart you can easily solve the problem so better to remember this chart not to go for this proof part which i have shown you how uh, we are getting magnitude like 20 log of 10 like that so don't remember that one this was just the proof part now you should remember this uh, what we call as board plot summary chart over here so that you can solve the problems so term first of all that is k term it is always slope of straight line in decibels per decade is 0 at 20 log 10 k that is in the logarithmic scale it is 0 magnitude is 0 and phase angle is also 0 that i have shown you in the proof part itself you see here consider k term the magnitude we were getting as 20 uh, decibels 20 log k decibels okay that is here 20 log k and angle we were getting 0 degree here okay that is what i have written here in this chart 0 at 20 log k and phase angle 0 degree similarly 0 at origin you will get 20 times uh, 20 into n if you have one zero one zero at origin you can take 20 into 1 if you have two zeros at origin you can take two value okay like that you have to proceed same in the phase angle you will get 90 times n if you are uh, if you have 0 uh, 1 0 then take one if you have two zeros at origin 90 into 2 that will be your 180 will be your angle like that you have to remember it okay so for uh, all these terms like pole at origin you will get minus 20 into m as magnitude and phase angle as minus 90 times m if you have one pole at origin minus 20 if you have two poles at origin minus 40 if you have uh, two poles at uh, origin so take the angle minus 90 into 2 that is minus 180 okay i hope you are following and you will remember this chart very easily so that you can draw the board plot over there okay this is next term 1 plus t1 s that is simple 0 20 is the magnitude and tan inverse of imaginary upon real part is your phase angle and next is pole at uh, sorry simple pole 1 upon uh, 1 plus t a s i hope you are getting this is your uh, what we call the simple pole that is 1 upon t1 1 plus tas okay so uh, i have written it here then complex 0 40 is the uh, magnitude and complex pole minus 40 is the uh, magnitude okay and respect these are the respective phase angles minus 10 inverse of imaginary upon real for the complex 0 10 inverse of imaginary upon real and for the complex pole again minus 10 inverse of imaginary upon real this chart you have to remember so that you can solve the problems okay 
at the last uh, of this introductory part there uh, there are some terminologies by which you can decide the system is stable or not you can remember these formulas also but uh, no need to uh, what we call remember actually just because you can draw it uh, in the uh, board plot itself okay so uh, in order to understand that what is the gain cross frequency omega gc we denote it with the omega gc that is gain cross over frequency the magnitude of G, uh, open loop transfer function or closed loop transfer function if you are getting as one in the linear scale so that is called as gain cross over frequency means if we take in the logarithmic scale we have to take 20 log 10 of this one so you will get 20 log of 1 is 0 so 0 decibel as you are getting as magnitude so uh, the what we call magnitude of g of s h of s if you are getting 0 in the logarithmic scale that is called as gain cross over frequency hope you are getting so later part uh, in the problematic part you will get some clear image about this gain cross over frequency same wise fa uh, phase cross over frequency g or angle of g of j omega h of j omega if you are getting minus 180 so that is called as phase cross over frequency okay then gain margin by this uh, sorry this uh, phase cross over frequency you will get gain margin it is just reciprocal of magnitude of the uh, transfer function at phase cross over frequency gain margin is defined as the reciprocal of magnitude of the transfer function at this phase cross over frequency you will get gain margin okay then phase margin phase margin is uh, just 180 plus angle of g of s h of s at gain cross over frequency what you are getting in the upper part gain cross over frequency so you have to add with 180 you will get phase margin this is all about the introductory part of this board plot in the next lecture we will discuss about how to draw this board plot and what are the steps over there so thanks for watching my video